This is how I simulate a real life honeypot ant colony for 100 days and you won't believe what happened in the end. Welcome to another Antflix video. Day 1. My honeypot queen ant has arrived from Ants HQ. This giant Myrmecocystis placodops honeypot queen has arrived in good health and with late stage larvae which is indicative of great tales of triumphs to come. In order for this larvae to turn into the first ant workers, the queen will continue to feed them protein using her stored fat pockets in her gaster. Once fed enough, the ants will pupate and then it won't be long until the first generation emerges. Day 15. The larvae have now pupated using the sand particles within the test tube. This is a great sign that the first workers are only around the corner and the journey from one queen to a healthy colony is underway. Day 30. The first workers have emerged in their fragile pale form as their exoskeletons slowly harden within the first day and their natural colour sets in while they prepare themselves for an altruistic life dedicated to the good of the colony. At this stage, it will be imperative for the colony's survival for the first generation workers ants to go out and bring back food to give to the queen so she can continue to lay more eggs. With the first workers present, I now move this colony into their first ever formicarium which is a nano nest by Ants HQ, emulating a real life chamber that these will feel secure in. Once settled in, I give them a few fruit flies for the protein and some coloured honey or sugar water for carbs to keep the colony energised. I'm really excited to see this colony grow. Day 40, the colony are starting to become quite active now. The queen has laid more eggs and more larvae. I continue to feed them fruit flies and honey water for the next 30 days to see how they get on. Let's fast forward to day 70 now and another generation of workers have emerged. But something strange is happening in the colony. I notice some very large larvae. I wonder what these could be. Could this be what I think it is? Day 80. Wow, it is what I thought it was. A honey pot ant has emerged and it is red. Now this species has a very cool trait which gives them the nickname honey pot ants. When the colony gets to a certain level of confidence, they start producing repletes, which are big ants that engorge themselves with honey water, stretching their gases out to hold food and fluid as an evolutionary trait to help the colonies in times of drought. Just think of these as living refrigerators. Truly amazing. Day 100. Wow, there is even more repletes. And these are in different colors. I intentionally changed the honey sugar water to orange and purple to see what they look like. They look mesmerizing. What an incredible species to observe. Now, to recap, from only having a queen and larvae, all the way to an established colony with multiple repletes, it has truly been a wild ride over the last 100 days. But these ants have been some of the most enjoyable ants I've ever kept in ant keeping. I hope you really enjoyed this video on my honeypot ant journey. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to keep up to date with this colony. I'm sure these will reach the thousands in time to come. And also, if you're experiencing any problems or not sure how to start ant keeping, I offer a Patreon personal coaching support package you can directly contact me through. Link is in the description below. And remember, keep chasing your dreams and flicks out.